Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Charlie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious smothered cabbage mixed with collard greens with pickle meat in it over rice and cast iron skillet cornbread made from scratch. It serves about 10 or more people depending on how many heads of cabbage you are using. Um, it combines the smothered cabbage along with the soul food touches of collard greens pickle meat and the cast iron skillet cornbread. Absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. Here is all what you will need to make your cabbage mixed with collard greens and cornbread. Let's get started with our ingredients. You will need three to six pounds, that's one to two medium sized heads of cabbage. Now you want to be sure to weigh this because you may need more or less depending on the size and the amount of servings you want. You will also need two pounds, that's two large bunches of collard greens. Now you want to make sure that you weigh this because you may need more or less depending on the size, okay? And along with that, you will need three pounds of pickle meat. Now this is a highly salted pork made in Louisiana. Now if you don't have this, you can use smoked pigtails, smoked ham hocks, smoked neck bones, smoked turkey. Any type of smoked meat will do for this recipe. And you want to make sure you have three pounds of it, okay? And along with that, you will need any type of long grain rice. I'm going to be using jasmine rice, yellow cornmeal, all-purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, salted butter, two large eggs at room temperature, and buttermilk at room temperature. For your seasonings, you will need one yellow onion, salt, Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Sapphire Mama Cajun seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Pernod's Portrait Magic, onion powder, and garlic powder. To bake your cornbread, you will need a 10 inch round cast iron skillet seasoned and ready to go. And there we have it. Let's get straight to it. Chop one yellow onion. Let's get started with our cabbage. We're going to cut the cabbage head in half. And we're going to proceed to cut the cabbage into four large quarter pieces. Then from there, you're going to remove the stem. Cut each quarter piece into strips and you're going to chop that up. And this is how it looks when we're done. Now here we have a collard green leaf. You're going to start by removing the stem off of the collard green leaf. You can use a knife or you can just pull it apart with your hands. Discard the stem. You're going to stack the leaves on top of one another. And you're going to roll it up like a jelly roll. And you're going to chop that up. As you can see, it's turning into strips. Now, you're going to take those strips. If they're too long, you can just take them and just uh, break them in half. Add your cabbage into a strainer. Do this little by little. And rinse your cabbage off with cold water. Once done, add your collard greens into a strainer. And rinse your collard greens off with cold water. Now you want to make sure that you rinse them off really good because they're known to have a lot of dirt. Alright, here we have our collard greens with our cabbage. This does seem like a lot, but once it cooks down, it will little be nothing. Preheat your fire to medium-high heat. In a large pot, add two quarts of water. Let this come to a simmer. Add your pickle meat. Give that a quick stir. Cover with lid. Let simmer for one hour. It's been about one hour now. And our pickle meat is done. Should be nice and tender. Turn your fire off.
taste the pork stock and it should be salty. Now you're going to remove your pickle meat. And you're going to place that into a separate bowl and cover that with a lid. Reserve your salted pork stock and you should have about four and one half cups of this left over. Preheat your fire to medium high heat. In a large pot add five tablespoons of salted butter. Spread the butter along the bottom of your pot. Let the butter melt. Add your chopped yellow onion. No measurements required, just add it in there all at once. Give this a quick stir. Cover with lid. Let this saute for 10 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes now, and as you can see, our onion has cooked down some. Exactly what we want. Add two cups of salted pork stock. Now we gotta add some seasoning. Add two teaspoons of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, two teaspoons of Chef Paul Fredon's Portrait Magic, three teaspoons of onion powder, and three teaspoons of garlic powder. Give that a quick stir. Now you're going to let this come to a simmer. Add your pickle meat. Add your cabbage. Add your collard greens. Cover with lid. Let this simmer for about five to eight minutes. That way it can cook down some. It's been about five to eight minutes now. Give this a quick stir. Add the second half of cabbage. Now this is uh, the last of the first head of cabbage right here that I'm adding. And this is the last half of the collard greens that I'm adding. Cover with lid. Let this simmer for about five to eight minutes. Okay, it's been about five to eight minutes now. Gonna give this a quick stir because we gotta add some more, of course. This is the second head of cabbage that I'm adding in here that we prepared. So we're gonna add that in there cover with lid. Let this simmer for about five to eight minutes. It's been about five to eight minutes now. Give this a quick stir. And this should be the last half of the uh, second half of cabbage that we're adding in here. So we're going to add that in there. Cover with lid. Let this simmer for about five to eight minutes. It's been about five to eight minutes now. And this mixture has cooked down some and this is exactly what we want. Add one cup of your salted pork stock. Now at this point you can add as much pork stock as needed. Give this a quick stir. Now I want to let you know that with the pork stock with the addition of adding the seasonings to this won't make your cabbage or your collard greens salty at all okay cover with lid let this simmer for 40 minutes it's been about 40 minutes now and as you can see look how cooked down that is look at that and our cabbage mixed with collard greens is done oh that looks so beautiful looks good turn your fire off now let's get started with the rice. Preheat your fire to medium high heat. In a medium sized pot we have one and one half quarts of water. Let this come to a simmer. Add one and one half cups of rice. Give this a quick stir. 
let this simmer for about eight minutes it's been about eight minutes now and our rice is done now you want to taste it to see if it's at your desired texture turn your fire off add your rice into a mesh strainer rinse your rice off with cold water Return your strainer back on top of your pot, cover with lid, and let this sit for about 30 minutes before serving. Now let's get started with the corning bread. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Place your cast iron skillet into a preheated 400 degree oven. We're going to let this sit until we make our cornbread batter. In a medium sized bowl, add 2 cups of yellow cornmeal, a half a cup of all purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, two tablespoons of sugar, and one and one half teaspoons of salt. Give this a quick stir. In a separate medium sized bowl, add one cup of buttermilk at room temperature, two large eggs at room temperature, and one stick that's a half a cup of salted butter melted. Take a whisk and stir all ingredients together until combined. Now we're going to take the wet ingredients and add them into the dry ingredients. Using a sturdy spoon, stir all ingredients together until combined. Now the cornbread batter will be thick, don't worry that is normal. Remove your cast iron skillet out of the oven. Take some butter and spread along the bottom and the sides of the cast iron skillet. Pour your prepared cornbread batter into your skillet. To make the batter more even, shake your skillet slightly. Now it is ready to be baked. Place into a preheated 400 degree oven. Bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove your cornbread out of the oven after baking on 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Toothpick inserted into the cornbread should come out clean. Now for the final step, you're going to take some salted butter and spread that along the top of your cornbread and it's ready to be served. Now to get it brown at the top you can place this into the boiler part of your oven for about two minutes. Here is the final presentation and there you have it. Smothered cabbage mixed with collard greens with pickle meat in it over rice and cast iron skillet cornbread made from scratch. If you like my channel hit that subscribe button hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes at www.charliecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Ah, now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Say, bro, when I'm telling y'all, this is so good. Oh, the cabbage and the collard greens is so, I mean, it's so tender. It literally melts in your mouth. And the flavors of that pickle meat and the seasons that we've added, I mean, 
it is so good that pickle meat really makes all the difference in the flavor of the of the uh, cabbage and the collard greens and that cornbread so good i mean it is moist and buttery 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 it is delicious mm. i'm telling y'all try the recipe on point really good Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.